plug your machine in and switch it on. Pull up the spool holder which is at the back of the machine and place your thread onto the spool holder. We're going to wind the bobbin, so following the dotted lines that are on the machine, place your thread in front of the pretension bobbin winder and place the thread through the hole of the bobbin. Place your bobbin onto the bobbin winder and push it back against the stopper. This disengages the needle and then put your foot down on the foot control, wind a little bit, snip the extra thread off, continue to wind the bobbin until it is actually full. Push the bobbin winder to the left and release the bobbin off the spool. Remove your sew tray table to place your bobbin in the bobbin holder. Open up your bobbin cover door. Remove your bobbin case and we need to place our bobbin into the bobbin case anti-clockwise so that the thread is actually turning clockwise. Take it through the tension. Holding the little lever at the back so that the bobbin case doesn't fall out. Place your bobbin case back into the machine until you hear a click, like so. Cut the excess thread, leaving about two inches, and close your door. Place the sew tray table back onto the machine. Now we're going to thread the needle. So leave your spool cap on the spool holder, taking it through the hook at the back of the machine. Take it, making sure that your foot is lifted up so that the tension discs are actually open. Take it around through the tension. Also making sure that your take-up lever is in the highest position for the thread to thread onto the take-up lever. Take it through the hook on number six, which is on the needle bar. Now lower the foot, which will take up the slack of the thread. If you cut the thread on an angle, it will make it easier to thread the needle. Thread your needle. Lift up your foot and place your thread to the back of the foot. When you first set up your machine, make sure that you're using the correct thread for the fabric that you're going to use and also make sure that you're using the correct needle for the fabric that you're going to use for your project.